So this question says the Penn State Math Club has determined that in order to successfully tutor X math 110 students in preparation for the second midterm exam, the price per student in dollars that must be charged demanded is this P of X equals 100 minus 3X. The math club also determines that the total cost for tutoring X students is given by C of X, which equals 2X plus 40. What price P of X should they charge each student in order to maximize their profit? All right, so we're asked for profit. We should know that profit is equal to revenue minus cost. So we have cost, right? We have our C of X. We don't have revenue. We have our price per student. So our revenue is always never in a per person standpoint, right? If you own a business, you are not going to say my revenue is, you know, $10 per object that I'm selling. My revenue is my total revenue, how much I get from selling all of the products that I'm selling on a monthly basis. So revenue is just really price, or in fact, I'll call it X times the price per, in this case, per student. Or X times p of x. So our profit can be found by x times p of x minus c of x. That's how I find the profit. So let's find that really fast. So x times p of x would be x times 100 minus 3x. And then minus c of x would be minus 2. In fact, I should put parentheses because we're subtracting. Always Pay attention to that. So minus 2x plus 40, right? Because that negative sign is going to distribute and impact, impact this sign here. So I'm going to also distribute this x here. So I end up with 100x minus 3x squared. And then distributing the negative sign, I have minus 2x and minus 40. Combining like terms, I have 100x minus 2x. Well, that's just 98x. And what else? I'm just rearranging things a little bit and putting my x squared term in front. I'd have a negative 3x squared in front plus 98x and then minus 40. That's my profit. Okay, now I want to maximize the profit. Well, anytime I'm maximizing the profit or maximizing any term really in calculus, that means I want to take the derivative and set it equal to zero. So the derivative of this negative 3x squared plus 98x minus 40, the derivative would be negative 6x plus 98. So when I set that equal to 0, I can subtract 98 from both sides. And I get negative 6x equals negative 98. I divide both sides by negative 6. And I get x equals, so 6 doesn't go into 98 evenly. Instead of using a decimal, I'm just going to reduce this fraction. Um, 2 goes into 98 49 times. First of all, negative divided by negative is a positive. So let's get that straight and out of the way. Uh, 98 divided by 2 is 49. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. So I'm going to just call this x equals 49 over 3. So that's my x value. But I want to maximize, right? I want the price. So it says what p of x should they charge in order to maximize their profit. So we know that x needs to be 49 over 3 in order for that to happen. So I take that information back up to my p of x equation, and I just plug in the x value that I just found. So this would be 100 minus 3 times 49 over 3. My 3s would cross cancel out. So I'm left with 100 minus 49, which is equal to 51. So that's how much you should charge per student, $51. So 51 is my answer, which is the first option here.